The fires have left Fort McMurray, but the aftermath is brutal. For the country's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, the test is how he handles one of Canada's worst natural disasters. As he toured some of the devastated areas, he praised the work of firefighters and rescue workers. The work you did to save so much of this community, to save so much of this city and the downtown core and so many homes was unbelievable. The flames were so fierce, few could imagine the damage they'd leave in their wake. More than a week on, and the smoke was still rising as we drove into Fort McMurray. It still closed off, but we were given access to see the extent of the damage firsthand. A few weeks ago, this was a thriving centre for the region's oil industry. Now look what's left. If you want to get an idea of how powerful the wildfires were here in Fort McMurray, just take a look at this. This is what's left of what was once a family home. It's just cinder and ash. It was completely razed to the ground and the smell of smoke still hangs heavy in the air here. Locals say it's a miracle no one lost their lives. 85% of the cities remained intact, but with thousands of homes destroyed, this natural disaster has created a very human one. 90,000 people still have no idea when they'll be allowed to return home or if they even have one to go to. Just down the road, the small town of Lac La Biche has trebled in size. But as people take shelter here, frustration setting in. Evacuees have been given a one-off debit card payment of $1,250. For Adam and Tracy, that won't go far. We can't pay rent anywhere. Um, so if this goes for, let's say, 120 days or more than that, like, I, I don't know what people are going to do. You know, we're, we're, we're refugees, not evacuees, and we're taxpaying refugees on top of it. But like many here, Adam thinks his Prime Minister should have visited sooner. He doesn't care about Fort McMurray, otherwise he would have been here. And that's, there's no excuse for that. We're, we're low on the totem pole of he doesn't even know we exist. But high up in the air, Mr Trudeau is trying to show he does care. For him, the task ahead is vast. This landscape's changed beyond recognition, but there are still fires to put out before homes and lives can be rebuilt. Regini Vaidyanabhan, BBC News, Fort McMurray.